these hits and eventually find your way to land. Thankfully, Pyra is so slow. All right, well, good luck to both players there as we are here with Winter Semis, RJ versus Sean. All right, I really want to see how RJ, going into this match, adapts his own game plan. Because a lot of times I feel like Samus players can fall into like a really good feeling gameplay loop. But if you're going to play against Olimar, you've got to change things up since Charge Beam is not as effective. Since any Pikmin will just soak up that hit and, yeah. and die, but soak up the hit. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to be going for those uh, multi-hits, you know, neutral air. Yeah. Uh, just no use the air. normals. Yeah, yeah like, even Zare is going to be good at it. Oh, for sure. Oh, I don't know about that screw attack, though. Yeah, it's certainly a tough one, but on Battlefield, you can get away with it a little bit because that top platform is there. Screw attack out of shield when blocked becomes a mix-up. He was hunting for the neutral getup, though. I like that. Playing really forward here is RJ just trying to find some big hits and take advantage of Olimar's weight. It looks like RJ isn't too afraid of taking those hits, but, you know, in disadvantage off stage against Olimar, they're not really coming back. But we're not seeing really any delays with bombs. We're not seeing we're not even seeing any bomb setups, actually. I'm surprised. Not even trying to wall out. Yeah, it's all been, like, bombs to maneuver around the platforms rather than to set up traps. It feels like the trapping game in general has just been uh, tossed by the wayside. We are all in on this on this aggr as aggressive as Samus can be, but the damage, I think, speaks for itself here, Swiss. It is brutal, but that swing of the forward smash will even up the stop count. And there we go. You know what? RJ has to remember that Samus is a bounty hunter and is ready to kill aliens. It's their specialty. Oh, so that's funny. Um, the yellow Pikmin is immune to electric damage uh, completely because wow. they're yellow. That's and right. And Samus' charge, uh, charge beam counts as exactly that. So. They Most see. Pikmin will die to a charge shot, uh, but not the yellow Pikmin. This is why they need to bring out the Dark Samus. Yeah. True. What what element is charge shot for Dark Samus? Aura. Mm -hmm. Aura? Aura. What? <laughs> yeah, that is a little different. Yeah. That's so lame. Yeah. I think it's neat. <laughs> it certainly oh, you just the choose hardest to read have a better matchup. The same character. <laughs> I mean, it's they're very slightly different, but yeah, Dark Samus is cooler. Yeah, Aura. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Dark it, Samus also really gets a specific matchup. It gets lower uh, than in some of its animations. So like Up Smash connects better from grounded opponents with Dark Samus, and uh, Charge Shot hits a little bit lower uh, as Dark Samus. But when jumping around. Normal Samus has a better mid-air double jump hitbox, so she hurtbox shifts better if you're going to try play, try to play really movement heavy, like RJ has been the entire uh, day. Yeah, we do have lots of rage. Maybe going to go for a grab. Again, no setups with bombs and ledge. Sean feeling very so comfortable harassing Samus off stage. Okay, RJ finally fighting back. Missing a grab with Samus is a death sentence. Yes, tether grab that deep. Uh, I do want to highlight that Sean has just been very, very commonly like not spending time in shield. And if we can look at, because this is the first stock, right? Right. Yeah. The, do you want to jump ahead? Let's jump to the final stock because you see, like, calls out the jump here. I want to really just like. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Call highlight to this moment. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, Samus threatens Charge Beam here to right. blow, uh, which you want to block or you want to parry or jump away from. Very seldomly do you see Samus's get punished for this grab because they threaten so much pressure in the corner. Yeah. But instead, because Sean basically never has to worry about a charge beam connecting with any sort of reliability. Because of the Pikmin, right? Because of the Pikmin. Just a wall of plants. Like getting away with those rolls or these options just out of the corner, easy options out of the corner, like a roll like that, just is so much more reliable. What I want to see from RJ is maybe some more checks, maybe a jab yes. one into mixing it up into a grab because the grab is still great, right? But you have to connect it. And yeah. there we go. We're seeing some aerials. There's there. Oh. Nice. Oh, 
a hard time landing, though. He's getting punished so frequently for throwing out an aerial to beat Pikmin. Like, oh, I'm going to nair this Pikmin off of me. I, I got back aired for it. That sucks. Like, constantly giving up damage in order to try and stave off this assault of Pikmin. And Sean has no qualms whatsoever throwing more of them at RJ, taking another stock with that purple back air. Yeah, Sean uh, has no regard for Pikmin life. Nope. <laughs> RJ going maybe a little too far. Okay, not getting punished. That could have been an early kill. Oh, reading the roll away though, but that screw attack was certainly rough. Wow. It's really screwing him over. It truly time is. Time and time again. Okay, but what do we see here? Again, these grabs. Sean is just doing the right thing and playing at such a big distance. I meant it when I said this matchup's terrible for Samus. Like, just awful. Look, it's their fault for not going Dark Samus. But with no yellow Pikmin, this right. is going to be a little easier. All right, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the, the up air, just like that. Or was that the up smash? I missed it. But. It was an up smash. Okay. I, I looked down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one of those checks at least that you're talking about. But, man, it has been all Sean all the time here in winner semis. And he's looked like he's ready to punch his ticket into winner's finals. Okay. Big RJ punching back. No setups. All right, trying to be a lot more unpredictable on the platform. And Sean just uh, reverting to the same game plan that's been working. Throw the Pikmin out. It, they cover so much space. They're so effective. And they're making RJ just get into this position where, hey, I need to go for these Hail Marys, go for these runoff down airs, take a stock at 20 is the win condition now, which is never where you no want to be as Samus. Oh, okay, never mind. Purple, blue, this is a strong, strong lineup. One for big hits, the other for grabs. The purple's gone, the, uh, the blue is gone rather, but the purple and the and the red are still ready and waiting. All right, and the yellow? Okay, this is gonna be tough. Ooh, up smash. All RJ right. putting up a good fight, but he has I gone for those three times yeah. and punished accordingly now. If you're RJ, I feel like you've got generally what you want, though, like a longer offstage scenario in that final moment. And you went for that Hail Mary down air yet again, as opposed to trying to pivot and go for like a runoff double jump fair, mm -hmm. since the recovery high was very clear and very reactable. Olimar is not like the fastest guy. Yeah, I do think that maybe RJ was a little afraid because that was such a reversal situation there. He had the read, but Sean like, just was able to maneuver around. Like this right here. The, I'm going to slow it down. The, so way down. You're pressuring ledge. You're kind of thinking like, oh, when you're here, maybe you see an air dodge to ledge or something like that. Like yeah. some sort of like aggressive option. You saw, already saw the Pikmin toss, but now you're too low. And the Pikmin are starting to pick up Olimar right here. So the reaction might have just been late because that runoff dare mm -hmm. was hitting nobody. Nobody. And that was the and, second time he did that. But this high recovery, it's susceptible to up tilt. It's susceptible to forward air, to jump nair. He should have just waited. Air. He was getting so impatient at 159. And it, like, I get it, right? Yeah. Like, that is really, really tough position to be in. Down a whole stock, having to make these plays. But the way you gain momentum is through success. And an easy win that Samus can do is air to air with forward air. Like that's just yeah. something so integral to the game plan and being able to succeed in that in a deep moment could at very least get something flowing in your corner. Right, surprise them, yeah. take them by uh, surprise. Some, some and wind then in your maybe sense. go for that like down air off stage. Yeah, like down air off stage, like you're setting up, you gotta like fit, take a big finish like that or mm -hmm. have a proper starter before going for it or some sort of like preconditioning where you are co reco uh, covering that high recovery. Instead, yeah. uh, Sean is going to move on without much of a sweat. A double two stock sends him into winner's finals. Hey, after beating Carflow, I'm sure he's very happy for an easy matchup.